Google Imagine Text to Image Generator. An art gallery displaying Monet paintings. The art gallery is flooded. Robots are going around the art gallery using paddle boards. A transparent sculpture of a duck made out of glass. A cute corgi lives in a house made out of sushi. Google Imagine. I bet some people are pronouncing it Imogen, maybe including the researchers themselves. It's a two billion parameter image generation model. Starts off with little 64 by 64 images and then uses another billion parameters to upscale using AI to 1024 by 1024. And it's backed by a 4.6 billion parameter text encoder called T5. XXL. It's very similar to OpenAI's Dolly 2. If you've watched my 1000 Robots video about the book generated by OpenAI's creative director, you'll recognize the design behind some of these. Google has said this is not going to be released to the public, unfortunately. Their official stance in the paper was the potential risks of misuse raise concerns regarding responsible open sourcing of code and demos. At this time, we've decided not to release code or a public demo. There was a really cheeky comment by a guy on Hacker News. I don't agree with the comment, but I wanted to put it here. He said, we have something amazing, but you can't use it because it's too powerful and we think you're an idiot who can't use your own judgment. <laughs> Poor Google. Here are the images that have been produced from the text sprouts in the shape of text imagine coming out of a fairy tale book a photo of a shiba inu dog with a backpack riding a bike it's wearing sunglasses and a beach hat a high contrast portrait of a very happy fuzzy panda dressed as a chef in a high-end kitchen making dough there's a painting of flowers on the wall behind him teddy bears swimming at the olympics 400 meter butterfly event a cute sloth holding a small treasure chest. A bright golden glow is coming from the chest. A brain riding a rocket ship heading towards the moon. A dragon fruit wearing karate belt in the snow. A strawberry mug filled with white sesame seeds. The mug is floating in a dark chocolate sea. You'll notice that some of these text strings are made to be as ridiculous as possible to prove that the image doesn't exist, that it's being created from scratch by Google Imagine. Uh, it's using, of course, it's two billion image parameters, but it is able to use connections to create images that have never existed before. Let's look at a few more. A blue jay standing on a large basket of rainbow macaroons. This is how we pronounce macaroons in Australia. The Toronto skyline with Google Brain logo written in fireworks. A marble statue of a koala DJ in front of a marble statue of a turntable. The koala is wearing large marble headphones. A bald eagle made of chocolate powder, mango and whipped cream. A squirrel is inside a giant bright shiny crystal ball on the surface of the blue ocean. There are a few clouds in the sky. A single beam of light into the room from the ceiling. The beam of light is illuminating an easel. On the easel, there's a Rembrandt painting of a raccoon. A photo of a corgi dog wearing a wizard hat playing guitar on the top of a mountain. A relaxed garlic with a blindfold reading a newspaper while floating in a pool of tomato soup. A photo of a person with the head of a cow wearing a tuxedo and black bow tie. Beach wallpaper in the background. A DSLR picture of colourful graffiti showing a hamster with a moustache. An angry duck doing heavy weightlifting at the gym. A Pomeranian is sitting on the king's throne wearing a crown. Two tiger soldiers are standing next to the throne. A cloud in the shape of two bunnies playing with a ball. The ball is made of clouds too. A family of three houses in a meadow. The dad house is a large blue house. The mum house is a large pink house. The child house is a small wooden shed. A chrome-plated duck with a golden beak arguing with an angry turtle in a forest. A group of teddy bears in suit in a corporate office celebrating the birthday of their friend. There's a pizza cake on the desk. A wall in a royal castle. There are two paintings on the wall. The one on the left, a detailed oil painting of the royal raccoon king. The one on the right, a detailed oil painting of the royal raccoon queen. A strawberry splashing in the coffee in a mug under the starry sky. 
vines in the shape of text Imagine, with flowers and butterflies bursting out of an old TV. Three spheres made of glass falling into ocean. Water is splashing, sun is setting. A bucket bag made of blue suede. The bag is decorated with intricate golden paisley patterns. The handle of the bag is made of rubies and pearls. A raccoon wearing cowboy hat and black leather jacket is behind the backyard window. Rain droplets on the window. Intricate origami of a fox and a unicorn in a snowy forest. Android mascot made from bamboo. A chrome-plated cat sculpture placed on a Persian rug. Google Imagine is another diffusion model, just like Dolly 2. In fact, they allowed users to judge whether Google Imagine was better than OpenAI's Dolly 2 outputs. And surprise, surprise, Google Imagine is twice as good as Dolly 2 in metrics by user preference, especially when we're looking at things like image text alignment and image fidelity. One of the reasons that Google Imagine may be better than OpenAI Dolly 2 is that Google Imagine starts with a very small image. It generates a 64 by 64 pixel image and then upscales this using AI, using another billion parameters to get to 1024, 1024, the same size as OpenAI's Dolly 2 outputs. Google Imagine is also very, very good at generating text, something that Dolly 2 couldn't quite get right. Here's some examples of this New York skyline with Hello World written with fireworks on the sky. Google Imagine on the left, OpenAI Dolly 2 on the right. Same with a storefront with text to image written on it. Google Imagine on the left, Dolly 2 on the right. I've put one of my favorite generations behind me. The original prompt was a photo of a horse riding an astronaut. This prompt is a photo of an astronaut riding a horse. Let's zoom in on that. You can see some of the generations here of a very realistic astronaut riding a very realistic horse. These images did not exist before someone clicked a button in Google Imagine. This is gonna be super exciting when we get to Video generation. Design me a movie that has X, Y, and Z. It's going to be incredible stuff, and it's only a few months away. I documented just how quickly this stuff is changing. In March, April, and May 2022, we were generating something like a new model every three to four days, coming out from places like DeepMind, Google Research, OpenAI, Aleutha AI, and the list goes on. It's almost a full-time job to keep up with it. Uh, I've had some meetings this morning and I go back into meetings now, but I thought I'd take some time to show this video and show the amazing photos that are being generated, the amazing images that are being generated just by typing some text. Did you see the memo about this? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I have the memo right here. Love artificial intelligence? Excited by the explosive progress of integrated AI? I am. Join my private mailing list, The Memo. Did you get that memo? Yeah, I got the memo. Get priority access to my articles, videos, and behind the scenes tips as soon as they're released with a monthly or annual subscription. Yeah, didn't you get that memo? Life architect, dot AI slash memo. I have the memo.